so fragile, so weak. Even your best falls short. Life at a price. Survival of the fittest. Embrace your destiny. Hey guys, welcome to a new guy video. Today I'll show you guys how to play the assassin set. For the ability sequence, you want to prioritize your Q for the ranged damage, E second for AoE damage and a slow, and then your W last. Deathmark is his best assassination ability, so make sure to put points into this whenever possible. Alright guys, when you get into the laning phase I said, you want to start with your Q here, because that is what you want to use to farm with at the early stages, because um, he's really weak in the early game until he gets around level 3 and 4, so at that point you just have to step back and then you farm with your Q. Now you're playing against the range matchup so you really don't want to trade, you don't want to walk into range but you just want to stay back and last hit with your Q and bonus points if you can last it and at the same time poke the enemy champion as well. We just have to let her push here and then we just stay back. There we go, so that's a pretty free Q here so of course this champion does not use mana so you don't have to worry about that ever. Now, I accidentally started Dagger here, I uh, actually thought that I bought the uh, Longsword because the icons look so similar and then I walked outside of the base so I could not refund so that sucks a bit but of course normally you want to start with a Longsword and a refill the potion. We are stuck with the Dagger right here though, uh, it doesn't matter too much. The set's passive makes him his next auto attack deal bonus damage to targets that are below 50% HP. And that actually makes it really good for us when we want to farm under the tower because uh, we don't need to prepare the minions first, we can just uh, one shot them. So it is really really easy to farm with this champion. So now we have level 3 here, so that's when we unlock the combos. Now your combo doesn't really deal that much damage, level 3 guys. You need uh, at least level 4 first, so you have 2 points in your Q. That's why it really starts dealing a lot of damage. But you can try to play a bit more aggressive right now, so you want to place the W on top of the opponent. Then you slow them with a E, and then you can Try to hit bo both shurikens, that way you can get a really easy electrocute prog off. And if you can continue to do that until you get level 6 guys, then the opponent will be really low HP for a free kill. Also keep in mind that your Q deals less damage if it uh, travels through uh, targets first, so try to hit the opponent when they aren't hiding behind the minions can get some more damage off. This was a pretty good combo, but I could have waited one more second because then my electrocute would have been up, so keep that in mind and try to play around your keystone as well so you get some extra bonus damage off, because that's really going to help you when you get level 6. Okay, Syndra is going almost out of mana, so that's really good for us because now we can start controlling the lane. Nice, there we go, and I'll electric your proc, so if you manage to hit both of these shurikens, then it's going to be really easy for you to uh, win the lane. Also, when you use that normal combo right there, you don't always want to use that auto attack at the end, uh, only if you're sure that you can win. Go, got the ignite, she should be dead here. That's a roaming Twitch support, uh, if you guys don't know then this is actually meta uh, this season, people are playing it in high elo. This is a diamond elo game and it's really strong because they buffed AP Twitch. This patch right here, so people are actually spamming it. What makes him really good is that he's one of the best roamers in the game because of his invisibility.
but it's really really good at impacting the map and it's really difficult to ward against him as well because he is invisible so he just uh, gets past the wards. So oh, Timo is struggling quite a bit in the top lane. He should be winning though because Orn really outskills him really hard. Anyways we're gonna base and get the uh, Hilsaldi item and boots. Level 6 is when you want to start looking for kills on set. Um, that is when he becomes really strong in the laning phase and there are really a few champions who can actually match his pressure from level 6. Bot lane winning this, hopefully they are. Nice, they got Twitch, awesome. Okay, Caitlyn died, that sucks a bit. It's fine though. Um, this game said it's a really good pick because they have so many squishy champions, so that's why you can really pick this champion. But if they have a lot of tanks and bruisers, uh, then you want to avoid picking set. Bit unfortunate she had a E up. I don't really want to flash for that. Probably kill her afterwards if she stays. But avoid picking set into bruisers and tanks because he does not have consistent damage. His goal is to assassinate squishy champions and if they don't have that in the enemy team then this pick is really really useless. Uh, she's still staying so you can probably just tower dive her when her W is up so we just have to push this wave here. We do see Kha'Zix in the top side so Gianni is chasing him so should be good to go. Okay, she is backing off. Okay, she's probably recalling now, so we can just push out this wave here. I think Sajuani could block her if she comes in time. She is moving to Syndra though. Nice, let's flash here. There we go. Of course, when you play Assassin's like said, it's really important that you snowball the early and mid game. Because that is where they are the strongest. Now Seth is one of the assassins that actually scale decently into the late game. He's not a late game champion but his ultimate will have such a low cooldown that he can just constantly go for plays. But he still gets outscaled um, by a lot of champions in the mid game, so uh, mid lane. So you really want to snowball in the early stages of the game so you can close out the game. Bot lane is so easy for us to gank. Uh, looks like a, oh they're going all in. They should be able to win this though. Nice. All right, that's great. Oh, Syndra is probably walking bot. Yeah, yeah, she's missing. She's definitely bot. Hopefully, Kaylin survives. Oh, nice. See, okay, great. So you just keep pushing here. So that's how you punish roamers is that when they roam you want to make sure that the wave is showed in. Now when you go for an all-in combo guys, um, you can either use W as a gap closer. You can do that if you are certain that you have enough damage to finish off the target because if you use W as a gap closer then you lose some damage. Most of the time though you want to be using his full damage combo so Use your ultimate first and then your W afterwards so you can get 3 shurikens and that is enough to delete any squishy even if they use barrier or heal. And we just want to start poking her with a W EQ combo so that way we put a low HP and once she is low enough that's when we can go all in with the ultimate. That is pretty much how you place it. You just want to slowly uh, poke them down and once they're low enough HP that's when you can go all in, take the kill and then you can keep pushing. Alright, we don't see K6 on the map right now so I need to watch out a bit here. Oh, if that sure can hit that would be really nice because that would be electric proc. But she is super low HP right now so we can go and dive her. Oh, okay, she flashed. That's actually fine though, because um, our ultimate is on a much lower cooldown, so 
Next engage. Oh, I'm greeting a bit here. Okay, I should not have done that. I greeted a bit for the kill here, so ended up dying, so I avoid doing that guys. Just take the uh Played out safe, no need to give away kills for free like this. Oh, Timo is so doomed. They're all coming in, they're gonna take the tower and die Timo as well. So done, so they're gonna get the tower as well. Bit unfortunate they get the first tower, because then uh, they're going to snowball Carl 6 and on. On is really OP when he has enough levels because he can upgrade Adam, so he's really really strong um, in the later stages of the game. Syndra missing again here. So as you can easily wave clear if you use the W on the wave guys and then you try to hit as many minions with your E and Q as possible. And then you can easily one shot that, so you can do that when you're planning to roam or you just want to push out the wave really fast so you can get out of the lane. It's a really good thing to do also when you're on the side lane. Just be careful that when you shoot W then you don't have any mobility left. But if you don't know where the enemy jungle is then avoid doing that. Because that's say free chance for them to gank you. Yeah we need to get the plate here, I almost missed it. Alright, there we go. We can also die Syndra here if Sajani comes, he almost has ultimate. Huh? He'll be pretty free though. Sajani is really tanky, so she can tank the tower. I can also tank it and then reset tower acro with my ultimate. Ulting. Right, I'll take the kill. Nice. Why is a switch coming in here? Well, I think Sajan is done so. Rip. Okay, we got the Twitch ultimate out at least. Let's see, I can wait around here. Maybe he comes. This might actually be water, so I have to back off. Yeah. He's using the lens, so we just have to back off all the way here. Switch might also be trying to flank me. Yeah, he was. That was definitely warded. Oh, bot lane needs to watch out. That's a car 6 coming in as well. Maybe they can take out Jin before uh, they come. Yeah, nice. Okay, great. Okay, they got the jungler and the support as well. That's a really fit bot lane. But that is pretty much how it is this season. It is so snowbally that one side just stomps, like hard stomps, and then the game ends so fast. I just had to play around the ultimate. Oh, she should respect that. Syndra is behind, but she still has a lot of burst. Yeah. A bit rip, but I, I also ended early on, so can't really blame her. Be getting the kill. Okay, nice. And we got the tower mid lane. We just have to keep pushing, there's not really much for us to do, we can go bot here, but we should prefer the objective. So we got the first tower, we can also take this wave here, use that WEQ combo to push the waves really fast. See if we can gank bot, oh it's a car 6, okay we can go on this guy, let's see, okay he has his ultimate up. That here. That was so close. He has a lot of damage. Okay, that's a bit of an int flash. I should not have done that. But Kha'Zix deals so much damage uh, to isolated targets, so... He almost got the kill, but we also missed the shurikens because he went is invisible. So I expected him to dodge to the sides, but he just stood still, I think, in the brush. Okay, Timo's tier 2 tower is almost down, hopefully he can defend that. He has rooms though, so it should be no problems when uh, bending from the waves. We're probably losing the mid lane tower as well.
right but she is so extending though so we might be able to pick up the skill here just need to wait for my w it's almost up flashing oh okay no mind okay there she flashed Anderson. okay she slowed with a smite nice there we go i can make it out hopefully it's a johnny can as well i don't have my ultimate up just yet almost up if I had it up, then I could have went for the kill. If I just had my W up, then I could uh, take down Kha'Zix as well. Coming for me, right? Yeah. Nice. That's why it's really, really good to have Oracle Lens against targets that have some kind of uh, spells to them. Because uh, you won't be able to target them, but you can see where they are hidden. So they actually secured me the, me the kill right there. Oh, Kaelin is not respecting uh, Twitch's uh, flanking potential. Nice. We can just go really ham when we have a Yumi. Uh, he has so much healing and utility. Go for Jin here, he is isolated. Let's go speed me up, nice. Okay. Oh, it's just barely out of range from my, of my... <laughs> Anyways guys, when you're in the mid game as set, your goal is just to go to the side lane because that is so strong at this stage of the game that almost no champion can match him. So if you go to the side lane then you can apply a lot of pressure that you would not be able to do if you just AFK mid and Noah and Noah. So what you do is that you let your ADC go mid and then you go to the side lane so you keep pressuring that way. We can go for Syndra here, go for Syndra and take down Twitch because my ultimate is up now. One is coming in. You can probably go back here. Yeah, we should be able to share. We have three people with us. Go him. Get the shuriken. Okay, he's probably getting out. Timo doesn't really do a lot in the team fight though, but his blind is still nice on Eddie carries, so he's pretty much taking Jin or Twitch out of the fight. So that's always nice to have because of his Q blind. We have a lot of goals we should also back off soon and my ADC is getting the tier 2 tower so that's great. Let's focus down the objectives because we want to close the games ASAP when you play assassins. Otherwise we just end up getting outscaled and then the game becomes really difficult. Alright so we have Yumus ghost played here so it gives us more damage and then even more mobility so we can use that to get within range of our other abilities. We also get some out of combat movement speed, so we are super super mobile right now. Right, you can use that to get into the fight earlier. Use that active for the movement speed. Oh, that was so close. See if we can find these guys. I think Kaylin needs to watch out. Twitch might actually be trying to flank her. She's really low HP. Get out Caitlyn. Just trying. Nice. Should be able to get the kill. There we go. One combo on this guy and he's dead. Oh, if I hit, if the other shooter can hit, then he would have died right here from the quick Kaelin ult. Nice healing from Yumi, so that's great. Go for Syndra here as well. So when you're super fed as set, you don't even need your ultimate to take down squishy targets. Just a W, E, Q, auto attack combo is enough. Just make sure that you use that uh, passive auto attack for some extra bonus damage. I can go for Jin here if he walks up. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, exhausted, okay. Probably like 1 HP or something right now. We can get out, we have the W, the first set is really mobile. Also keep in mind that your E guys, when you hit champions with it, then it will reduce the cooldown of your W. If you hit more champions at the same time, then it's going to reduce it so it comes up even faster. That is the burst on set, but he should have respected that though. 
Yes, that was kind of obvious I got to do that. I just had to wait for my W now. I can go. Ultimate is almost up, so I can go for Syndra as well. Oh, she deals a lot of damage actually. That was just one Q. Now I can go for her. I go, Herald is tanking the tower, so now I can go in. Oh, she flashed. If she did not flash, then I would have just taken that down with a uh, normal combo and then ult it in. Oh, I actually misclicked that um, <laughs> W right there, otherwise I could have made it out. Okay, team is doing well, so we also got the Edge of Night here, so Spell Shield really good against enemy abilities, so it's harder for them to peel us off the ADC. But anyways, that was the set guy video, so I hope this was helpful, and as always, thank you so much for watching guys.